Okay, so where are we right now with um, the particular shipment of these CZA58s? Well, because it was the last production run of 300, they got nicknamed the Spartan after the 300 Spartans in our office. And uh, when we were ready to advertise it, it got listed as that. Um, the RCMP jumped all over us, specifically the Special Firearms Support, support Section, and uh, they deemed it a variant, a different model, and therefore it was prohibited. When in actual fact, the only difference was the furniture and the engraved Spartan head on the bolt carrier. So now this shipment came into Wolverine Supplies around Christmas time, is that right? Even before? Just before Christmas. They came in, I think, the end of November. So where are they now? Are they still in your warehouse? They're still in my warehouse. So wh where are we on this? Is it just basically in limbo? Um, we sent two samples into them at their request to be examined. Um, with hindsight now, I should have been smart and stripped them down to the barreled receiver, mm -hmm. which is all that is legally required, and they would have been no different to any of the previous 8,000 models we have sold or, and are in Canada. But I was quite upfront. I shipped in the entire gun as we were going to sell it. And uh, after great deliberation, they came back and said it was a variant, it was prohibited. So I then did an appeal, uh, sent in a detailed appeal, stating all my reasons why, and that uh, they denied it. And they came back and said it was um, a different model, therefore prohibited. Now, you've been in contact with the RCMP lately, which is to say that you've sent them emails. Do you want to share, uh, you want to read out what your email was and tell us whether or not you got a response? Certainly. Uh, the last email I sent in would have been stated the 24th of February. Uh, do you want me to read it? Please. Um, this is to uh, the... Uh, to the lab there. Uh, as you conclude that this rifle is a limited edition model due to the unique markings on the bolt carrier and special furniture, I presume if I went to the expense of obliterating the markings on the bolt carrier and replaced all the furniture with plain unmarked furniture, this rifle would revert back to a standard CZ858 Tactical 2P and cl be classified as such. Please confirm at your earliest convenience. So that was February. We're now basically approaching the end of April. Um, did you hear from Mr. Smith? Uh, no, I've chased him up a couple of times. I uh, sent follow-up emails, firstly, uh, to make sure that they had received the email, because none of this organization will ever give you a read receipt on an email. Right. Uh, that's their standard policy. And I chased him up again. Uh, the last time was on April 11th. RCMP Legal Services is reviewing, is reviewing the issue. As I'm sure you understand, we need to carefully consider next steps so as to be, not create problems. Sound legal advice is essential to that end. Okay, so this is part of the reason why the Conservative Party of Canada and many um, just law-abiding Canadian gun owners want to get the regulation process out of the hands of the RCMP. These people are unelected and we've seen time and time again that they make decisions on a whim which are based on, frankly, not much common sense. Different etchings, a little bit different furniture, and this firearm went from restricted to now prohibited. What has this cost your business right now? How, how no, this firearm has not gone from non-restricted to prohibited. One man has passed an opinion. He hasn't changed the law. He's just stated in an FRT that this gun is now prohibited. The fact of the matter is nothing has changed. So then is the FRT not being a legal statute, can you then just go ahead and, and sell these? Yes, I could. But then if he persuades the RCMP that uh, he is right and this gun is prohibited, I run the risk of being charged in trafficking and prohibited firearms. That would shut my business down. Unbelievable. And I have 20 employees to think of. Thank you very much for your time. We wish you the best. Please do keep us updated on how this develops, if at all. And I hope folks out there are listening. This is why it's very important that you pick the right CPC leader who is going to make sure that this sort of arbitrary nonsense from the RCMP ceases to exist so it doesn't hurt um, law-abiding gun owners and business owners like yourself.